Hey YouTubers, this is the Fat Lebowski. Uh, I'm gonna tell you uh, about that name uh, and myself and my tank in a minute. Uh, first, let me tell you that I want to make a video for a while now about uh, the beginning, the, uh, the basics of starting a reef tank. So that's this video all about. Um, the reason being is that uh, when I did my research for my own tank, I found uh, a lot of very good videos online on YouTube, uh, of course, but um, the main impression did it which I got from starting a reef tank is that it's very hard and I'm here to tell you that it's not really that hard. It's, uh, it's hard if you don't know what you're doing, but uh, you should definitely go ahead and uh, study a little bit about the water chemistry and what 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 types of tests you need to do, be doing etc but I'm going to cover all that in part 3 of this video uh, this first part is uh, my little intro um, and and about what tank uh, you should choose uh, if you gonna go ahead and start uh, this beautiful hobby um, the second part is going, going to be uh, about the hardware, like uh, the lights, the skimmer, uh, the sump, um, and, and, and some technical stuff, you know. Uh, the third part is going to be about the inhabitants um, and about sand, which is a whole different topic uh, altogether because. Uh, people talk about the deep sand bed, uh, which is great, but I'm going to uh, urge you to not do that. Um, and I still haven't got any sand in my own tank after six months. And I'm going to tell you in the third part why. Because I have ten minutes in this uh, part and I can't cover everything. So let's first go over. Uh, my uh, the intro of me, myself and I, and my tank. Um, as I stated, my name uh, is the Fat Lebowski. Uh, obviously it's from the movie The Big Lebowski. Uh, short after I've seen that movie, uh, I uh, started to play online games like MMOs and stuff like that. World of Warcraft, who doesn't know it? But uh, yeah, my name uh, uh, became the Fat Lebowski because uh, the movie was still in my memory, of course. So, uh, yeah, and I'm a little bit bigger than the guy, but uh, I sort of look like him. <laughs> so, uh, a friend of mine told me I looked like him. So, uh, that was the name I was using on that online game, and it stuck on YouTube. So, that's uh, about me and uh, my name online. But my real name is uh, Robert. Um, I'm from the Netherlands. I'm 42 years old. Um, of course you can hear uh, a weird accent and that's the just a Dutch accent. Um, not, I'm pretty good in, uh, in English but uh, I don't know all the words so I'm thinking of them while I'm speaking you know. So that might be a little bit uh, disturbing but uh, Let's just bear with me and um, let's uh, go ahead and talk about my tank a little bit. I started uh, six months ago, uh, started f in June, the 10th of June and uh, since then it's doing great. Um, I added some live uh, stuff after two months uh, in uh, August and uh, yeah got some some little thingies uh, every month uh, added some stuff so uh, now it's six months you see it here six months old um, by now there's a, a yellow thing in it two percolas um, a six stripe rest a blenny which is uh, also an algae algae consumer like the yellow tank there's a couple of members of the clean up crew which is not really complete yet but uh, it's getting there 
um, I have some corals now, uh, some stony corals, which is uh, Montipora, Calendrium, Stylophora. I have some air corals, a uh, very tiny little mushroom coral, which is actually doing uh, pretty good, it's growing well. Hystrix, which is uh, actually not growing that hard, but more in the wide, in the width, you know what I mean? Not, not in height. And I got recently I got a cactus coral, which uh, I can't figure out yet if it's a stony coral or a uh, soft coral because it has a hard uh, skeleton. You know what I mean? But people tell me it's a soft coral, so I don't know. Uh, furthermore, some uh, anemones and uh, gorgons. And yeah, that's uh, about it from my thing. So. Uh, let's go over and talk about what you need to be aware of with purchasing a tank so in the beginning I said bigger is better All right. this um, is because bigger has more water in it more water in it is less chance of uh, toxic chemicals like nitrates, nitrites, phosphate ammonia to affect your tank uh, and if it does because it's more water in it you will probably notice it in time whereas if your aquarium is too small um, so it has little water in it then these effects go really fast you know if, if the ammonia gets too high in an aquarium, in a uh, seawater aquarium, then the fish die. And in a small aquarium, you have like uh, several hours to respond to that. Whereas in a big tank, with let's say 90 gallons tank, you have more time to react. So that's why a bigger tank is better for beginners. So I'm not going even to go go ahead and talk about small tanks because I don't like them yet maybe in the future when we are pros but at this point we like to have like uh, 70 90 gallons tank or bigger even bigger is better so what kind of tank do you want well you need to have an overflow box and a sump area and a sump um, I'm not gonna talk about tanks without a sump area or a sump or an overflow box because those are critical to keep your problems at bay. I'm really serious about this. If you start fresh and you have the means, go ahead and buy a tank with an overflow box with the Durso standpipe in it. Um, the overflow box is just a Including compartment which will allow the water to travel through there to the sump area and in the sump is a pump pumping it back obviously so um, that it's I think that's very important to start with because it's uh, uh, the sump is an area where you can house your heaters your phosphate filters your uh, uh, all kinds of filters your skimmer is in there um, so for the tank it's pretty short go for a little bit bigger tank L let's say bigger than 70 gallons go for a tank with a overflow box and have a sump in there very important and in part two I'm going deeper into that what's in the sump, what's the skimmer, etc. So I hope you enjoyed this first uh, part. Uh, the next part will be online within a week. Um, thumbs up if you like it and uh, see you later.